Well, for most kids, the first day back to school is exciting, but for far too many, the excitement is overshadowed by fear. The literal path to an education, a dangerous journey down sidewalks with overgrown grass and vacant, burned out homes. A very scary trip indeed. And today, our Ronnie Dahl put herself in the shoes of so many children in our area. She joins us now live from Detroit's East Side. Ronnie. Even as an adult, I wouldn't want to make this trip to school alone. I mean, look what these kids are up against. This house is vacant. You can see it's wide open, not something the kids should have to deal with. Look what's next door, another vacant home. This grass is so overgrown, I could easily hide behind and then just jump out and grab you. And all of this is directly across the street from a school. A, B, C, D, E, L, G. Dawn Kirk's daughter is just starting her school journey. I play with the, um, the blo uh, some, uh, some blocks, but they was different. Her first day of preschool, and mom doesn't risk her future by walking, she drives. It's not safe because dogs be roaming and everything. Are you worried about the amount of abandoned houses as well? Yes, I am. I think they should do oh, fix them up. Some parents, like Lakeisha, walk their kids to school to make sure they arrive safely. Let me take you on a drive through their neighborhood. See what the kids are up against. House after house, abandoned, vacant, burned out. Just tear them down because it's unsafe for kids. Teresa Reed would love to see the house across the street from her torn down. She's tried to cut through the red tape at City Hall to get it done, yet here it sits. They said they're going to tear it down, and they haven't tore it down yet. When was that? Oh, this would have been two years ago. It's dangerous, real dangerous. I wouldn't want my child to walk past here if they was going to school. But so many kids do have to walk past that house and many others in various states of disrepair. On Binder Street, it's hard to avoid them. We have 12 vacant houses on that street. In this east side neighborhood sits three schools just blocks apart. We lost count of the dangerous structures within the school zone. Want some drugs? Homes like this one used as a dope den, pills still inside. Others have pipes missing, hit by thieves. Neighbors have tried boarding them up, but the job has become too big. Now they are worried with the start of a new school year, the clock is ticking. It's a safety issue because somebody could grab these kids off the street, man, man into these vacant houses, which is going to be the result. Another kid raped or killed, just don't make no sense. It really is every parent's worst nightmare now that Detroit Public School does have tips for students to walk to school. The first thing, use a buddy system. Never, ever walk to school alone. And if you can, actually try to walk to school with a group of kids just to make it much more safe for you and the others. Also, if you can, you want to avoid abandoned homes like this one. We know that's not always possible in some neighborhoods. You don't want to take a shortcut either. Don't cut through those vacant lots. Don't go past these vacant homes. Try to get to school safely. In some cases, they do have volunteers walking the kids to school. That, of course, is always another good option. Mm -hmm. Real quick, on a side note, some of the things that we come across out here in the field. I'm standing next to this vacant house and I'm hearing kittens crying inside. Mm -hmm. So it's heartbreaking. So I have my boots on. So we're going to try to see if we could do a little bit of a rescue. Hopefully we'll have some good news to bring you tonight at 11, although that house not not exactly the safest, but we're going to see if we can help the kitty cats out. Yeah. Now back to you guys. And if you can't make a call to someone who can, Ronnie, but you know, you talk about the danger for those kids, and I think about when it gets dark in the morning, because right now it's pretty light, but as we get into sure. fall, yeah. so many of these kids are literally walking in darkness to school. And that's where anyone in the neighborhood can help out. Be sure to turn on your porch light. If you don't have kids, you really don't give it much consideration, but that little bit of light can really help a lot. And you know, the city of Detroit is doing a better job. They've been uh, replacing a lot of the lights in these areas, so that should help as well. Yeah. Thanks, Ronnie. Something's got to be done, that's for sure.